Welcome to Bot Sailor. Today in this video, we will show you how to connect Zapier with Bot Sailor to send WhatsApp bot collected data from Bot Sailor to Zapier. Now, you can send Bot Sailor's WhatsApp data or user input flow data to any third party application, such as Zapier, for processing. Let's see how to do that. First, we will create a user input flow. Let's go to Bot Manager from the dashboard of Bot Sailor. Then go to User Input Flow. Click on the Create button. Give a name to the User Input Flow. We also need to give a name for the Start Bot Flow. Now, let's configure the question. Double click on the New Question element. Choose the question type, write the question. On the question, we will ask the user to enter their email address. Select the reply type as email. Now, let's add a final reply. Give a name to the post back. Then add a reply to the post back. I am adding a text reply. Add the text. Now, let's add a trigger to the user input flow. Double click on the trigger and add keywords. Now, save the flow. Let's check the user input flow on WhatsApp. Yes, it's working perfectly. Now, if we want to send this email address, or any data that we collect from the WhatsApp chatbot to Zapier, or any third-party application, we need to create an outbound webhook. Just refresh this page, and go to the outbound webhook. Click on the Create button. Give a name to the webhook. Here we have to put the outbound webhook URL. We will have to get this URL from the third-party application. Let's go to Zapier. Click on the Create Zap button. Select Webhook. On the Event field, select Catch Hook. Then click on Continue. Click on Continue button again. Copy the webhook URL. Put the URL on the bot sailor. Now, select the action that will trigger the webhook. In this case, it is user input flow. Select the input flows. Now select the data fields that will be sent. Finally, save the webhook. In Zapier, we need to send test webhook data. Let's go to the WhatsApp bot and provide a test data. Write the keyword to trigger the bot with user input flow. Enter the email address. Now, click on the Test Trigger button on the Zapier. We can see Zapier has collected the data. It has collected the user's name, chat ID, which is a phone number, and user input flow data. Click on Continue. Now, on the App Event, select an action. In this instance, we want to send an email from Zapier. Select Email by Zapier. In the event, select Outbound Email and click on Continue. Here, select the user input flow answer for email. Then write a subject for the email. Write the body of the email. We can use the collected data on the email body. Here we are using the name of the user. Click on the continue button. Then click on the test action. Let's go to the email address to check if the email has arrived. Yes, the email has arrived. Now, we need to go back to Zapier to publish the Zap. Click on the Publish Zap button. Then, click on Publish and turn on. So, this is how we can connect Zapier with BotSailor to send data from BotSailor to Zapier. In the same way, we can integrate Bot Sailor with other third-party applications, like Pabli. In the next video, we will show how to create a custom app by using Bot Sailor's own API, in that case, you don't need any third-party applications. You can create your own app by using PHP. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.